mon utérus, mon choix, ma liberté. This sounds obvious, but this is not the case in Morocco. The state controls the body and the sexuality of women. With Mali, I fight for women to be in charge of their own bodies, wombs, and sexuality. My name is Betty Lajgar. I am 44 years old, and I was born in Rabat. I am a nomad and always traveling. It makes me feel free. I live in Paris and in Rabat. However, in Rabat, I feel at home, gathering with friends on my rooftop terrace or be at the seaside by myself. I co-founded the Mali movement in 2009. We organized many successful actions and demonstrations. We specially fight for sexual and reproductive rights as LGBT and abortion rights. Le bras, il y a quelque chose qui va pas. As we are celebrating the 10th birthday of Mali, journalist Haja Raisouni is being held in prison for allegedly having had an abortion and having a sexual relation outside marriage. So our fight is far from over. There is no liberty of conscience in Morocco. It is a religious dictatorship. I am one of very few openly atheist people in Morocco. A lot of activist gatherings and actions take place in someone's home because it's safer. Salam. Still, the neighbors call the police because I am an unmarried woman who has male visitors. Unique. Unique. No, universal, c'est bien. Universalité des droits. The human rights tattoo will be my first tattoo and important for me because human rights are an important theme in my life and my activism. When growing up, I had the space to always ask questions. I have learned a lot from my father, who was also a political activist. Before he died of cancer, I learned an important lesson from him. Resistance is not about numbers, but about impact. And he was right. The first action we organized with Mali was a symbolic picnic during the month of Ramadan. Only six people showed up for the picnic, but with dozens of policemen and journalists present, the impact was huge. In poetic acts of civil disobedience, Mali works together with performance artists in peaceful, non-violent actions that break certain taboos. When Moroccan women have unwanted pregnancies, they may only have an abortion when the woman's life is in danger and only with the authorization of the husband. <laughs> The Moroccan government uses women's bodies as a political battleground and to silence critical voices. For many years, I am fighting for the abortion rights of all women. Being able to make our own choices about our health, body, 
and sexuality is a basic human right. Denying women this choice is denying women their freedom and autonomy. No doctor, politician, or imam should decide for women about their bodies. Since I survived cancer when I was 20 years old, I feel I can be fearless in my activism and my fight for people who are victims of discriminations. Overcoming cancer drastically changed my perspectives and personality. I have been assaulted by the police and other people, and I have been on an ISIS hit list. But I feel powerful and without fear when I can help others in fighting for their individual rights and justice. Ah. I want to say to women everywhere to be brave. We have to keep fighting against patriarchal terrorism until we have freedom. Hurriya. <laughs>